All right, so for now, now for this next part, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we need to begin adding color and creating fill layers. <clears throat> so what I need you to do is duplicate your dots to layer. So you're going to drag it down to the bottom. Oops. You're going to drag dots to over your new layer. Okay. And once you do that, <clears throat> you're going to rename that layer white. So rename the dots to copy to white. Okay. Um, and then drag it below your dots to layer. Once you've done that, we're going to adjust the levels on it. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustment, Levels. You're going to get this dialog box to pop up. What I would like you to do is pull this black output marker all the way to the right so it disappears behind the white marker. Okay. Once it's done that, you've done that, you've converted that layer all the way to white. And then click OK. All right. Once you've done that, do a quick... Control S to save your work. And then we're going to move on to our next step. So what I would need you to do is open your layers palette. So do a file, or excuse me, a window, and then make sure that paths has a check mark next to it. If it does not, go ahead and click on it and check it off. Um, and what I would like you to do is we're going to start creating these paths that I already have here. Um, but I'm going to create one with you so that way you don't have to watch me do everything. So I'm going to create the lips layer, and you need to use the pen tool for this, otherwise it won't really work all that well. So you want to use your pen tool, and I'm just going to begin to draw the lips the way I want them. So I'm actually doing the drawing right now. I'm not so much tracing <clears throat> what the picture has already, but I'm creating it. Because these lips are going to be filled with colors. Um, once you do that, make sure you've labeled your layer. And notice over here, as I drew that path, this little like black mark showed up. That means that I created that work path. Once you have um, a layer for each facial feature, Go ahead and label each layer what they are. Then one path layer at a time, load the path by clicking the button on the bottom that looks like a dotted line circle. So we're going to do the body first. I'm going to click this, which is your load path button. Now I want you to go back to your layers palette, create a new empty layer while these dancing ants are here. Okay. I'm going to name this layer body because that's what I have selected. Once the dotted line shows up on your image, choose the color you want to use to fill it from your either from your color picker or from your swatches palette. So I'm going to pull my swatches over here so we can see it a little bit. Um, I'm going to choose maybe this color. All right. Then once you've chosen your color, use the paint bucket tool to fill the selection with paint. So we're going to come here, use our paint bucket tool, and fill the selection with paint. All right. Now, our next layer, we are going to uh, do the same thing. So we're going to come here to our path, load the path, come back to our layers palette, make a new layer, Call it hair. Choose the color to fill it with. You choose our paint bucket, fill our hair layer. Okay. Do the same thing for your eyes. I'm going to come over here, choose the eyes, choose your selection button to so select the eyes. Go back to your layers palette, make a new layer, name that layer eyes, choose a color to fill your layer with, use your paint bucket, fill your layer with yellow paint, if you will. Then finally, last but not least, 
we're going to do the lips layer. So load your path layer, come back down to your layers, make a new layer, name it lips, and fill that new layer with a pink color. And then I'm going to organize all of my layers. All right. Now notice we still can't see our face yet, right? Because on the dots two layer, we've got white and black. So what we need to do now is we need to deselect whatever facial feature we had. So we're going to deselect that. We're going to do select color range. And what I would like you to do is click on the white, click OK. It's going to select all of the white areas and then just hit backspace. Once you've done that, hit deselect. And there you go. You have your Liechtenstein style um, image. And in our next tutorial, we're going to talk about adding Bende dots to your background and your other facial features.